In the last video, we were talking about the 1994 Los Angeles earthquake and how it knocked all the power out. And of course, the context of this video here is our current topic on light pollution. Um, so what happened, of course, in the Los Angeles earthquake is the earthquake knocked all the power out at 4 a.m. A bunch of residents from Los Angeles went outside, many of whom have never seen a very dark night sky. And they were all just stunned at the number of stars and things that they saw to the point that they thought maybe the stars, of course, caused the earthquake. But we know that's not true. The stars are there all the time. We just can't see them because of light pollution. But <clears throat> that's the way our urban lives are. We uh, live in cities and so on, and there could very well be we'd go through our whole lives never really looking up and appreciating and looking at the dark sky. So I hope you remember to do that when you're outside at night, away from cities, desert, mountain, campings, what, camping, whatever, and appreciate that dark sky. Just a couple more notes on that. Because what can happen when it gets just a little dark out there, when you can just get away from some of those city lights, then what even starts to happen, you can even see this sometimes um, where we live, in San Luis Obispo, is that you start to see not only a lot more stars, but if you're really lucky, you can sort of see this sort of structure start to appear in the night sky, which is ordinarily kind of dim and you can't see it in a light polluted sky. But like I said, you can't see it in some sort of smaller cities. Like I said, even in San Luis Obispo, I've seen this before on an unusually dark night and a clear night. So what this is, of course, here is when you see this, this is what we refer to as the Milky Way. Now, the Mil Milky Way, of course, is the name of our galaxy, of the galaxy that we live in. But what you're seeing when you see this is you're starting to see the structure of our galaxies. In other words, the night sky is getting dark enough that you can see more than things just like the moon or Venus or something really bright. You can start to see the structure of our galaxy. So what is this stuff you're seeing here? And in particular, notice how it's kind of dark right here and it gets a little lighter over here. What is all that stuff? Well, it turns out that I'm going into Hurricane Irma already. Okay, so hold that question because all I wanted to say about that was once again, Hurricane Irma hit Florida back in 2017 and they saw dark skies too. The power was out. So just like on the last slide, here's that, that structure of the Milky Way popping up again, okay, after a hurricane. Um, the lack of power means lack of light pollution. So looking skyward Tuesday, this is in a Florida newspaper, revealed 100 more stars visible to the naked eye. And I, I would argue with hundreds right here. There's probably thousands more stars visible to the naked eye. Um, and so anyway, these were some stars that were captured in the, in the newspaper. We see they're seeing that same sort of structure pop up in the dark skies, of course, many people for the very first time. So what is that stuff? This is what I was going to get to. Well, it turns out this is our galaxy. Uh, on its side. This is what it would look like on its side. Now, we have never seen this view. We may we never see the view. We'd have to literally spend, send a space probe out of our galaxy to photograph it from the side and somehow beam it back, you know, with all the vast distances involved. I just, well, it'll happen someday, but maybe 10,000 years from now, but certainly not anytime soon. And so what typically it looks like here is there's a big, uh, big bulge so-called so -called in the center right there. Um, and the rest of it more, more or less looks like a flat disc, like maybe a DVD or a CD or something, minus the bulge in the center right there. And basically, this is the disc that we live on here. So it's a very, very long galaxy, about 100,000 light years across, but not so thick. It's a very long, thin galaxy that we live in here. And I think our sun's location is right about here. I think I mentioned this in a previous video. About 25,000 light years from the center of the galaxy. Okay, so just imagine that... This is where our sun is, so somewhere the Earth is rotating around the sun somewhere in this part of our galaxy. So we're talking very, very big now. I didn't say solar system, I said galaxy. Our whole solar system is somewhere around here, and this is the galaxy that it's in. So anyway, this is what it would look like from the top. Again, a picture that is going to be very long in coming because we'd have to fly some space probe once again above the top of our galaxy and beam some image back again, and just it's not going to happen anytime soon. Anyway, that's what we think our galaxy looks like. And, of course, there's all these corny shirts that astronomy ha that you can wear around. You can actually buy these, you know, and maybe you even should, huh, for a gag gift for someone. You are here, and you, of course, know what that means. And you would say, hey, person, yes, we are here. We're about 25,000 light years from the center of our galaxy. Like, didn't you know that? You know, that kind of thing, right? Um, well, this, this doesn't have anything to do with what I'm talking about, but these are some more astronomy shirts. You know, I blacked out during the solar eclipse, right? Here's the moon moving in front of the sun. Ha, ha, ha. 
And of course, you know, astronomy is out of its world. And of course, astronomers do it under the stars all night long, you know, that kind of thing. Ha ha ha, you know, whatever, or maybe this, or maybe even, maybe even that. Okay. But back to this, what is this stuff here that we're seeing when it starts to get a little dark? You know, what is all this stuff? Well, just look at this one more time. You sort of see the the light bit and the dark bit in there and a bit of a light bit. Just look at it for a second. And I'm going to slowly scroll to the next slide. And so what you're seeing is this exact same stuff here of our galaxy. You're just starting to see this structure. Now, so there's a bunch of stars, and it turns out what all of this dark stuff is, is here, sort of interstellar dust. There's all dust here because the, the dust is so thick that the stars behind it, the light can't get out. And so that's a little bit what you're seeing in these pictures. You're just starting to see the structure of our galaxy here. If you go back, this is a bunch of dust right here. There should be a lot of stars. There are a lot of stars behind the dust, but it's so thick. Dust that never formed into a planet or a star, just sort of floating around there. There's a lot of dust in the galaxy that never got used for anything. And in these portions right here, like here and here, obviously not being blocked by dust. But then if you sort of go back between these parts right here, these areas here are being blocked by dust. And so that's sort of what you're seeing. Light spots. Starlight's getting through, dark splotches, a bunch of interstellar dust that exists in our galaxy. Okay, more on light in the next video.